for my first taste of Russian flavours, I'm heading to St. Petersburg's most extravagant food hall. Kubets Eliseyev has been a firm favourite with the Russian elite since 1902. Wow. And the store's VIP attaché, Viktor Yavoronok, is going to show me what my rubles could buy me. Hello, Hello Paul. How, How are you? you? Hello, I'm very good, thank you. What an amazing place this is. It has got that opulence. It's a bit like the food halls in London, but I think it's another step up. Maybe. Well, we're trying to keep it imperial, classy, for a royal society and, you know, high society. Kubets Eliseyev hasn't always looked this glamorous. During the Soviet Union, it was state-owned, and you'd have struggled to get your hands on the luxury goods lining the shelves today. From the handmade confectionaries and the fine cheeses to luxury vodkas, it's all here for the taking, if you've got the money. Brilliant. But I've spied the ultimate extravagance. Run through some of these caviars, which is a good caviar? All caviar is good, you know, good when you can buy it. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> now here, that's a Sturgeon Imperial, and that's the best one. Sturgeon yeah. caviar is, is, yeah. is, is the best. I want to try all of it, really. I could, sit, I could sit down with some vodka and try a lot of caviar, if I'm brutally honest. Before I get too distracted, there's one more department I really must check out while I'm here. There's something that very close to my heart, some of the bread. This is the traditional bread. You okay. cannot find anything more traditional, you know, in breads in Russia. Okay, that's what I think of when I think of Russia. I think of that rye bread. You think of that heavy rye, almost uh, the black rye, and that's exactly the stuff I'm talking about. So, can I you try? Want to try? Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. That's a great-looking loaf, isn't it? It's heavy, which is what a rye normally is. The Borodinsky is one of the most popular rye breads in Russia, and was inspired by Russia's battle at Borodino. Wow the deadliest day in the Napoleonic Wars. That is one of the most potent ryes I think I've ever eaten. It tastes, it's almost caraway, aniseed flavor, but heavy, dense, that is exceptional. A Russian rye in one of the best food halls in the world. Not a bad way to start my trip. But before I leave, Victor's got one last treat in store for me. I'm looking forward to this. The lavish surroundings of the store's grand dining room usually play host to Russia's high society. But today, I'm getting the VIP treatments with the room all to myself. Just grab it with a spoon. OK. Victor's serving up some of the best sturgeon caviar. This is decadence, Russian style. Oh, that is good. I see your eyes started to spark. Yeah. <laughs> It melts in the mouth, though. It really does melt in the mouth. That's the first Russian caviar I've ever had in Russia. And that was delicious. That was very, very nice. And I believe we need some vodka right now. How do you say cheers in Russian? Будем здоровы. Is there an we'll easy way? Будем здоровы. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. I'll take this one for the team. I could get used to this. I've seen where the glitterati shop 